Hi guys! Today we're going to talk about Charles Law. Charles Law is an ideal gas law that applies at constant pressure. So, let us try to analyze this figure para mas maintindihan natin kung ano yung tinutukoy ko. No? So, in here we have our condition 1 and this is our condition 2. So, as you can see dito sa ating condition 1, we have a container here with our initial volume and initial temperature. Now, what happens dito sa ating condition 2, tinaasan natin yung ating temperature. Nung tinaasan natin yung ating temperature, nag-increase yung ating volume. So, that means our temperature is directly proportional sa ating volume. And that's what we are trying to say dito sa ating Charles Law. Okay, so according to our figures here, our volume is directly proportional sa ating temperature. So kapag nag-increase yung volume, mag increase din yung temperature at constant pressure. So having this known, uh, we will introduce a proportionality constant case. So we have V is equal to K times T. Now, K is not changing. It's always the same. So I'm going to isolate that. So, I'm going to transpose itong ating temperature. So, we have V over T is equal to constant K. So, it means that at any given condition, our volume divided by our temperature will be the same at all conditions. No? So, hindi siya magbabago. So, that means, let's say in our condition 1, we have V1 over T1. This is constant, so hindi yan nagbabago kahit na anong condition. So kahit nag-increase tayo dito ng temperature, it will still be equal to K, yung ating volume over temperature. So we have here V2 over T2. And that is our equation for Charles' law. Okay? But we need to take note that when we start solving problems, okay, using this equation, our temperature should be in absolute scale. Okay? So that means it could be in Kelvin or Rankine. So dapat alam na natin yan. No? We have a separate video explaining yung ating absolute temperatures. No? But for our calculation here, we know that in order to get a Kelvin scale, uh, and our given is in degree Celsius, we need to add 273.15. No? So, yung ating given na degree Celsius, we need to add 273.15 to convert that into Kelvin. And for Rankine naman, our given in degree Fahrenheit, we need to add 460. Okay? So, that is how you convert from degree Celsius to Kelvin or uh, degree Fahrenheit to Rankine. Okay, so, now let us use our equation for Charles' law by solving problems, okay? So, this is our first problem. A sample of gas occupies a volume of 275 milliliter at 20 degrees Celsius at what? One atmosphere pressure. So, yan, given na yung ating initial condition, no? So, we have our condition 1 here. So, let me write here condition number 1. Okay, so given yung mga values natin sa condition 1. In our condition 1, our volume, so I will write this as V1 to say that this is volume at our condition 1. V volume 1 is 275 milliliters. Then our temperature 1, okay, is equal to 20 degrees Celsius. And our pressure at condition 1 is 1 atmosphere. So, our pressure 1 is 1 atmosphere. Now, calculate the volume of the gas. Okay, so, now, in our second condition, ang pinahanap sa atin is yung volume ng gas in our condition 2. So, let me write condition 2 here. Okay, so, ang pinahanap sa atin is yung volume. Okay, so, we have V2 which is unknown. And given yung ating temperature 2, which is 0 degree Celsius. So, our temperature 2 is equal to 0 degree Celsius. And our pressure 2 is 1 atmosphere. So, as you can see, 
walang nagbago sa ating pressure. Our pressure 1 is 1 atmosphere and our pressure 2 is also 1 atmosphere. So therefore, we have a constant pressure here. And we know that if we are having constant pressure in ideal gas, that means Charles Law applies. Okay, pwede natin gamitin yung Charles Law dahil constant yung ating pressure. Okay, so katulad nung sinabi ko kanina, no? we cannot just use our temperature here in degree Celsius. We need to convert that into Kelvin. No? Okay, so that means our temperature 1 is equal to 20 degree Celsius plus 273.5. 15. So, our temperature 1 is equal to uh, 20 plus 273.15. We have uh, 293.15 Kelvin. Okay, so that's our T1. Para naman sa T2, we have 0 degree Celsius. So, we will add 273.15. So, our temperature 2 is equal to 273.15. 15 Kelvin. Okay, so now we can apply our equation in Charles Law. Sabi natin sa Charles Law, dito sa equation natin kanina, V1 over T1 is equal to V2 over T2. So, V1 over T1 is equal to V2 over T2. Okay, so we're just going to substitute our values. no? So, our V1 our V1 na uh, dito kanina, 275 milliliters. So, 275 milliliters divided by our T1. Ito na yon in Kelvin. 293.15 Kelvin. This is equal to our V2 which is unknown over our T2 which is 273.15 Kelvin. Okay? So, isolate natin itong V2 because that is our unknown. So, we have V2 is equal to uh, 275 milliliters times this one because we are going to transpose that dito sa left side. Now. So, we will have here 273.15 Kelvin over 293.15 Kelvin. So, as you can see, we have a unit of Kelvin sa numerator and we also have a unit of Kelvin sa denominator. So, we can cancel this out. Okay? So, ang may iwan sa ating unit is in milliliter, which is yan ang hinahanap natin. Ano? So, now let us solve for V2. Okay? Let us use our calculator. So, we have 275 times 273. 0.15 divided by 293.15. Okay, so now our V2 is 256.24. 256.24. And our unit is in milliliters. So that is our final answer for this problem. Okay, so let us solve another problem. And this time, we we need to calculate uh, the decrease in temperature in Celsius. Okay, yung inahanap natin in Celsius. So, dapat manote natin, our final answer should be in Celsius. When 2 liters at 21 degrees Celsius is compressed to 1 liter. So, given ang ating uh, V1 and V2 Okay, na parameters, no? So, in our condition 1, our V1 is equal to 2 liters. And our T1 is equal to 21 degree Celsius. And then, it was compressed to volume 2, which is 1 liter. Okay, so ang pinahanap sa atin is yung... Uh, decrease in temperature, but we don't know what is T2 as of now. Okay? So, don't forget, ang pinahanap sa atin is yung decrease in temperature. So, that means, ang required is yung decrease in temperature, which is T2 minus T1. Okay? 
but should be in degrees Celsius. And para masagutan natin yan, kailangan makuha muna natin yung T2. Okay, so don't forget, when you are using yung equation natin sa Charles Law, uh, you have to do the calculation in Kelvin. No? So dapat naka-Kelvin yung ating uh, unit. Alright, so now, uh, our formula is V1 over T1 is equal to V2 over T2. Okay? Alright, so dahil gagamitin na natin itong equation, we need to convert our T1 to Kelvin. So, our T1 is equal to 21 degrees Celsius plus 273.15. So, therefore, our T1 is equal to 294.15. Uh, Kelvin. Okay? So, pinag lang natin siya. Now, we can substitute our values here. Our V1 is 2 liters over our T1 which is itong nakuha natin 294.15 Kelvin this is equal to our V2 which is 1 liter over our T2 which is unknown so isolate natin yung ating T2 we have T2 is equal to 1 liter times we will transpose this to the right side so we have 294.15 Kelvin over 2 liters. So, meron tayong liter units sa uh, numerator and denominator. So, we can cancel that out. And matitira sa atin is in unit Kelvin. So, we have T2 is equal to, we can now start our calculation. Okay, so we just need to divide this by 2, no? So, 294 0.15 divided by 2 is equal to 147.075. And our unit is in Kelvin, di ba? So, to convert this into degree Celsius, we need to subtract 273.15. So, 147.075 K minus 273.15. Okay, so our T2 is equal to um, one hundred forty-seven point zero seventy-five minus two hundred seventy-three point fifteen, which is negative one hundred twenty-six point zero seventy-five. degree Celsius, no? Alright, so, ano yung value ng ating T1? Our T1 is in uh, 20, tama ba? 21 degree Celsius. So, we have here 21 degree Celsius. Now, what is our delta T? Our delta T, change in temperature, yan ang ating pina pinahanap sa atin dito, no? Uh, saan ba yun? yung required natin. This one, T2 minus T1 in degree Celsius. Okay, T2 in degree Celsius, T2 minus T1. Okay? This is equal to, so, don't forget that we are talking about the difference. So, this will be in absolute, no? So, walang negative na answer dito. So, let us say we have negative 126.075 degree Celsius. Minus, uh, we have 21 degrees Celsius. So, now we have negative 126.075 in degree Celsius. Okay, then minus 21 degree Celsius. Alright, so, so, alam natin. So, our subtrahend will be negative now, no? So, we have negative 126.075 plus negative 21. So, actually, ganyan siya, no? I just wrote it para mas malinaw sa lahat ng mga nanonood sa atin ngayon, ano? So, now we have uh, 126.075 plus 21. So, we have negative 147. K 
Okay, so 147.075 degrees Celsius. Okay? Okay, so because this is a difference, so we are not actually talking about the sign here. Yung difference lang ng temperature. So our difference in temperature in degrees Celsius is equal to 147.075 degree Celsius. So this is our final answer for this problem. So this is how you apply yung ating equation in Charles Law, in solving ideal gases at constant pressure. To watch more of our lecture videos about engineering and STEM subjects, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ia-upload namin. We are regularly uploading tutorial videos in engineering, mathematics, chemistry, physics, at iba pang subject na magagamit ninyo sa inyong pagre-review. So, thank you very much sa patuloy ninyong pagsuporta sa engineers.org.